Yeah. Uh, you can do a little bass, a little something slinky. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The kind of thing that makes you want to slide out of an outfit. <laughs> that word called out to me from people who think it makes me a friend. As if a word of such poor pedigree could apply to anyone who knows where it's been. I get told it's been it's being taken back. Back from whom is my question? And since when has it been a thing worthy of possession? Since when have we lost the sense of connection to the millions of mothers and fathers lost? When did we stop counting the cost of souls bought and sold in transatlantic trade? Why make a decoration of the chains that have weighed on us all in one way or another? Why call you this of all things when you ought to call me brother? How can we hope to find ourselves saved by embracing not just the name but the ways of the slave? How can we hope to survive if we trade the march of the struggle for a new good old shuck and jive? And for those who think applications of fonts can get you beyond it, how you're spelling it ain't relevant. Be it QR or A apostrophe makes no difference to me. Using this vulgarity as identity is not the way the revolution was meant to be. Ghetto fabulosity is a, as a life philosophy is an atrocity. A falsehood from the neighborhood that as long as we keep chilling, chilling, corner hanging and gang hanging, it's all good. But how good can it really be if they still let us answer to a name that means you who are not free? Actors, rappers, producers, comedians all seem to say it's okay. Like there is a new meaning and everything that has come before doesn't matter anymore. But these so-called celebrities are sidestepping the reality. They've been bought and paid for by the same sorts as before. This time hurt with cash and flattery instead of lashes and battery. But the shuffle hasn't changed. The steps just rearranged. They all keep on singing and dancing, lying and entrancing their own into thinking the ship has stopped sinking. There's no point in dreaming of life, but there is much work left to be done if we want to make true the dreams of those who paid in, in flesh and blood for our opportunity. We need to stop the lunacy. It's not about black skin, green backs, or red necks. It's a matter of respect for all colors and races, all different people from all different places. Recognition. It's about recognition of the human condition we see in each other's faces. It's clear to me the fate of this world is not yet decided, but the forecast looks dark. If we are not united, the clock is moving swiftly. We have our fingers on the trigger, and this could all end very, very badly if we can't see a sister or a brother as something more in ourselves and each other than just one more nigga. Woo!